Good morning, everybody. It is a medium day here in Chicago. It's not beautiful, but it's not cold. So, you know, we'll call it a uh, we'll call it a wash. Um, and uh, you know, let's let's quickly uh, remind everybody the boot camp starts tonight. Now, if you already have a Optipit Live membership, you can watch this live for free. You don't get the recorded content. But if you are an annual subscriber, you do get to keep the recorded content as well. Kind of a neat deal. Um, then, uh, and it's going to be you know, a good eight hours of some pretty awesome training, and you get to listen to that good-looking guy. And we had another good-looking guy up there, but I had to take that down because it was bigger than the entire balance of the thing. And then, um, you know, for those that are, are active OptionPit students, the, the Pro Trader Summit is coming up fast. Uh, I'm going to be cutting off registration here shortly, so if you're thinking about coming or planning on coming, uh, get your act together and uh, and get yourself here. It's going to be uh, quite the experience. It's going to be a good time. So now let's talk about the market. Well, kind of a mixed day today. Um, you know, pre-market, we were down most of the morning. Then right into the bell, uh, we were up, and now here we are, and uh, we are down again. And you can see the VIX creeping higher. But not exploding higher, but already in a small backwardation. You can see that the, the VIX futures really are not biting on this rally in VIX. It's, it's kind of odd. On one hand, you see a, a lack, you know, the market definitely not acting, I, I would say, complacent um, as we see the VIX rallying. But on the other end, you see July basically trading, saying, meh, to anything that comes out of the, the VIX July. All right, and you see the uh, the June basically trading under the VIX cash, and you know that's just odd. You're, you're not I don't not used to seeing that kind of price action in an, in this name. I, I think it's uh, you know I'm a little I'm a little quizzical as to why and how that's happening, um, but nonetheless, that is the way things are moving around. We've got. Uh, the future is kind of saying, yeah, while well, the VIX cash is, in fact, rallying a little bit. I mean, look at this. You've got the market off. You've got July not moving. Um, other markets that are moving around. So I continue to think that oil, like an oil iron condor, in size is a really good sale. That vol is just sinking and sinking and sinking. And I just I do think it's too cheap. Bond vol, on the other hand, good luck. Uh, bond vol has been moving around. Um, I do like some sort of bear broken wing butterfly because I don't think it's going to do this forever. And then uh, currency vol. Uh, I think currency vol is another one where, um, you know, that may or may not be a sale. The, the NASDAQ, the X, it, of, of, of the indexes, that's been the mover. That's been the one that's been been having a little bit of, of movement to it. Um you know, but the vol's really just not quite there. You know, it's not trading at a huge premium, and it's definitely moving a lot more than the S&P and moving a lot more than um, the Russell 2000. So that's an interesting one to be watching and, and watching kind of the nothingness happen. So, you know, from there you've got, uh, you know, Apple getting beat into its developer conference. Amazon down, Alibaba, so all the kind of the big tech names other than Google. Google, which has not done anything since it, uh, really, since they split the share types. Um, and then you can see the financials are off a little bit today, despite the, the move in rates. And, uh, again, those volatility risk premiums are just acting really funky. You've got the vol of VIX options in, the VIX futures doing nothing, and, uh, just some, some really odd behavior out of the VIX cash. All right, folks. Um, you know, I, I think on the day, you know, we may crawl a little lower um, unless we see some something positive out of Greece or rates turn around. But uh, I'm not sure when and how that's going to happen. So I think uh, we may see just things kind of crawl around. I'll be interested to see whether the futures ever buy into what's going on. Thus far, they have not. So it'll be a really interesting thing to watch. 
All right, folks, on that note, I hope everybody has a great day, and I will talk to you shortly.